So, I know I need to create a new YouTube video, so I thought I'd make a video on this UI effect. I don't see it a lot in games, however, I have seen it used a few times, and it looks quite good when it's used right. Okay, first we need to make the actual UI. I'll make a screen UI and add a frame into that, and then I'll add a UI aspect ratio constraint into the frame. This will make the frame stay the same size on all screens. Now I'll size the UI and I'll position it in the middle. The best way to do this is to set the position to 0 0.5, 0.0, 0 0.5, 0.0, and then set the anchor point to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Once you've done that, you can drag the size down to your liking. I'll then change the aspect ratio to be the shape that I'm wanting and change the frame's color. Next I'll add a UI corner and I'll set this to 0 0.05, but ultimately it's up to you what you want to set it to. I'll then add a stroke into the frame. Make sure you set the color of the stroke to white, and then you can decide what you want the thickness to be. Inside the stroke, I'll add a UI gradient, and change the colors to whatever you desire. Then you can make a local script in the gradient, and we'll go into the scripting part. First we'll define our gradient, and since the script is a child of the gradient object, we'll access it using script.parent. We can then define tween service. This will allow us to create smooth animations with the gradient. Next we can define our tween info. You can name this whatever you want, but I like to be descriptive. Then make it equal to tweeninfo.new and we'll come back to it later. Now we can create our actual tween. We'll get tween service that we defined earlier and create a new tween. The first section is the object that you are tweening, which is the gradient in our case. Then it is the tween info. Then just the property that you want to tween. In our case, we'll tween the gradient's rotation by 360 degrees. After that, we need to make sure that the tween plays. And we can do that just by adding play. Now we can go back to the tween info. The first parameter we'll add is the number in seconds of a full rotation. I want it to take 2 seconds, so I'll just input 2. In the second parameter, we'll put the easing style. I'll put linear, which means it will tween at a constant speed. In the third parameter, we can input the easing direction. I'll set it to in out. This will make it look more smooth. If you want more info on this, I'll have links in the description. In the fourth parameter, we can input negative 1. This will make sure that the animation is repeated forever. In the fifth parameter, I'll input false, which specifies that the tween should not reverse after playing. Lastly, I'll input the number 0, which is the delay before the animation starts. Now that we have this, we can load into the game and test it. As you can see, it is working just as expected. If you guys have any questions, make sure to join the Discord and you can ask away there. Otherwise, have a good day.